Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we go a Dungeons and a Dragons and Zins Ings. That's hard to say. Dungeons and Dragons Ing. We go Dungeons and Dragons Ing into Baldur's Gate 2. Uh, this game, you know, I remember people playing it back in the day. I think somebody might have even given me a copy of it. Came on like nine CDs or something. Uh, if I'm remembering the right game, I think I had eight, one of the Baldur's Gates, I think, and it was like six CDs or something. Uh, this one is from good old GOG, um, and uh, you just download a file and you're all set. You're good to go. CD, what was the last time you played a game on CD, guys? I really do wonder. Um, I'm trying to think like the games that I played on CD last like Metal Gear Solid I had the PC version because I didn't have a PlayStation 1 back in the day even though I played it originally on PS1 and I liked it so much I bought it on CD I had Enter the Matrix I had the Baldur's Gate one which I didn't really even play but somebody gave it to me um, there's a handful of others I will admit back in the day I dabbled in downloading before Steam and GOG were a thing if you catch my drift You'd go to, you'd find your favorite Where Is site and try not to get a virus while you <laughs> downloaded a game. Um, oh, Warcraft 3 I had on CD, Starcraft. Actually, I played so much Warcraft 3 and Starcraft back in the day. Anyway, today, Shadows of whatever it was. Um, I think those were different expansions. I think we have the, like, Unlimited Founders Edition, Baldur's Gate 2, Ultra Enhanced 2012 Remaster, something like that. Um... Oh, it's multiplayer too. I wonder how many people are still online. I mean, we're going solo, obviously. We love riding solo. Import game, pre-generate now. We're gonna we're gonna create our own character here. Press the agenda button to begin your character. Or press back to return to the previous page. Alright, let's do this. We are a dude. Oh, we get a picture too. You know, I always liked D and D. it's like in my mind, I mean it is like the classic OG original um Wait, you can even customize these? That's interesting. Does it just like select a file? Oh, you can. Oh, you can do a 24-bit bitmap. Wow, that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, we'll just we'll, we'll go with this guy. This looks guy looks like he could. Uh, it's like Stone Cold Steve Austin or something. Actually, do we have a guy with hair? Maybe. Oh, it could be a a, a wiry dwarf. Ooh, a mischievous elf. That guy's Scottish. Um, let's go with this dude. Except, D&D obviously is like the classic original RPG, and I uh, always loved... I only played a handful of times as a kid. There was a group that gamed and played D&D, uh, some friends that I knew in uh, excuse me, high school. But I always really liked it, but uh, it was only a handful of times I ever played it. But then when it comes to, like, the actual computer games, I didn't play too much of them. I was more into, like, Battletech and stuff. And um, it's like I always liked D&D, but I never got into the lore of it very much. But the Chris Pine D&D movie that came out, like, last year or the year before, I so regret not going to see that in theaters. That movie is a delight. It is charming. It is fun. It's an adventure. If you haven't seen it, trust me. You may look at it and be like, eh, D&D, get it. Stop this video, pause it right now, go and watch it. Honestly, it is it is it is like a crowd pleaser. I don't know anyone who's watched it who didn't like it. So trust me, this is from someone who was skeptical about it myself, didn't go see it in theaters. Regret that I did not do that. It is a great movie. I love that. It's uh it's I think one of my more recent favorite movies, honestly, of movies that have been out. Um anyway, our race, there's so many different I always so I'm just going to not really care about uh any of the actual rules. And I'm just going to select the kind of character that I used to play way back. Um, again, I didn't play too many D&D &D games. Actually, let's change. Can I change my, my portrait? Hold on. Let's go back here. Gender. Done. I want to pick the dwarf, actually. There was a game I used to play called uh, Morath's Revenge. And that one, um, I always made a dwarf and I named him Mazix. So that'll be our name. I don't know if we get to name our guy. Oh, that's the very last thing that we have to do. He was always a fighter. I always liked fighter thieves as well. But uh, what does this say? This character can use the abilities of a fighter and a thief. Um, and they can't use their thieving while wearing, wearing more than studded leather. 
Sounds kinky. They may specialize in, but not master, any weapon they can use. Fighter Cleric has the ability of a fighter and a cleric, though the weapons are restricted to only those allowed by the cleric's ethos. They may specialize in, but not master. I mean, a cleric's good because they have healing. Look at all the abilities. This feels like a D&D um, accurate game. Oh, there's even, like, subclasses. Like, you can be a Belzerka, a wizard slayer. That's kind of cool. It's very specific. I, I very specialize in killing magic users. A Kensei, Dwarven, or a Barbarian. May not wear armor heavier than Splint Mail. We'll just go Classic Fighter, I think. Let's not, let's not get too fancy here. Um, in terms of alignment, I think I was always like kind of like a neutral, like true neutral or something. Um, I feel like chaotic and evils I never picked because I was like, I don't want to like be necessarily evil, but we'll just go neutral, I suppose. Clearly, there are very few true neutral characters in the world. Well, the world needs one more, baby. And that's me. Okay, so now in modern RPGs, you usually like assign points. To things but in D, D you would roll so it's possible to get some characters that sucked and some that were awesome like you could just re-roll now statistically speaking you probably won't get an amazing uh character but you re-roll enough uh, eventually you'll get someone who's pretty good it is nice that you can oh strength 18 geez a crappy dexterity Kind of like strength, dexterity, and uh, constitution to be on the high end. Let's see if we can get those. I guess if I can get three that are 17 or higher, I mean, that's pretty good. Hmm. Okay, I want nothing below 10. How about that as a rule? Okay, well, this is it. We want nothing below 10. Pretty good. How about nothing below... Well, I mean, almost as good as it gets, really. So what if we pump that up a bit? Take a little wisdom down. A little dexterity. Be a little dumber. Be a little more convincing and attractive. How about a very charismatic, strong dwarf? He's like all muscly and good with the ladies. And also very politically uh, persuasive. So there we go. Good enough. <laughs> I kind of want to be a bastard. The bastard sword is a double-edged sword it can wield with one or two hands it does more damage i think a dwarf has to be an axe user character receives plus one i mean i there's all these stats and stuff again uh it's almost too much to go through uh in one sitting so an axe and then what do we think two-handed swords um hallmark of a muscle-bound warrior all right, we're axes and we're an axe and sword guy. We're kind of a big weapon, dude. And our appearance. Oh, look at this. You can like. Interesting. You can really customize. Well, I guess. Within reason. Can't like change the character model or whatever. OK, sure. This me give him some hair that stands out a bit. Blonde. All right, good enough. Done. To battle and victory! <laughs> Sounds good. Actually, you know what? That doesn't really sound like a dwarf. No one is more worthy. Let's do this quick. I'll get the job done. I'm no use to anyone tired. To battle! I shall endeavor to be an inspiring example. I fear the pace we have set is too much for me. Ah, uh, good enough. Good enough. Name Lord Mazix. I don't know where I came up with that name. I think I liked the name Max. And it just seemed too non medieval, so I just threw a Z in there. Um, difficulty. The party gains all the benefits of easy difficulty and they cannot die in combat. Well, that just seems too easy. Let's just do normal. Core rules. I'm kind of excited for the fact that this is like a real D&D &D game. I feel like a lot of RPGs on computer and stuff, like dumb the rules down a bit and stuff. And that's fine. I, I like that as well because, I mean, it's nice to streamline a game, but it's, a, it's nice to occasionally have like a game that's like really true to the board game. So anyway, they're experimenting on me. 
Wake up! Come on, we have to get out of here. Who are you? Blah, blah, blah. Can I trust you? I don't remember a thing. We can't run around blindly. Okay. How do I get free? Um, there was fighting. My cell was damaged. I don't know if I could get out again. The pain in my head is getting worse. It's like normal pain. Mazix, it's on the inside. Like my bones made of little daggers. And it won't go away. Don't look at me like that. Okay. Emo N. Let's get out of here. Didn't want to go by myself. I need you around, Mazix. I don't want to be here. We should look at that room to the west first. Uh, I think I saw some weapons. I think it's our gear. They probably sold our best stuff. All right, let's do it. Of course. Oh, she got turned to stone or something. Hello? Alright, let's go in here. Oh, hello. Jailkeeper Gollum. Prisoners, you must not escape. The master does not will it. Wow, a golem. Powerful magic stuff. Odd that it's not hostile. Suppose its maker didn't expect us to escape. Um, the only... The only... They only do what they are directed to. Uh, they don't really think. Has to be told to keep quiet. I get some information out of it. Uh, I'm not permitted to speak with prisoners. Return to your cells. This is the master's wish. Uh, you must not disobey the master. Return to your cells. All right. Uh, let's check in here. They did say our stuff would be here, right? Ooh. Studded leather. Leather armor. Splint mail. Chain mail. Oops, what is this? Buckler. Helmet. I mean, it might as well just take everything, right? Why would I not? Okay. Now what? How do I... Turn to the game. World map. Journal. Inventory. Okay, so... So, oh, Thaco, to hit armor class zero, right. Okay, so if I put armor on this guy, his Thaco is 14. Oh, wait, that's, that's, that's like my attack. My armor class is four. Put this on. My armor class is five. I see. So we want to find the best one. I think the one I had on was the best. Boom. Helmet. Why not? That did not help my armor class. Small shield or buckler. These are about the same, it looks. Oh, we got a little shield there going on. All right, I wish I had a weapon. Could use an axe, if you know what I mean. Do I have another character? Oh, I totally do. Oh, can I, uh... Give her some stuff? Well, there we go. At least this is, this is very intuitive for, like... Oh, she's like a thief or something. Maybe I can give her a shield. You need a shield? There you go, that helps you about a bit. Armor class 10. How about some studded leather? Or whatever. There we go. Alright, so that's pretty good. Armor class 7. Not great. Decent. Oh my god, there's so many stats. I mean, I used to love uh, reading through D&D source manuals and stuff. Like, I, I had the... Uh, uh, I had manuals. Um, oh, I think weapons might be here. Cha-ching! Long sword, short sword, quarter staff, battle axe, baby. You know what I used to play a lot? Have you guys heard of Hero Quest? Ooh, two handed sword. Um, I used to play Hero Quest back in the day. Ooh, jail cell key. Really loved Hero Quest. Let's take everything. Cha ching. Um, and that one had a dwarf too that I really enjoyed. Okay, so two handed sword. Okay, so I could do a battle axe. And this lets me do 1d8 plus 3 maybe? I'm not sure. I think it's at least 1d8 damage. 
Okay, but if I had two-handed sword... Two-handed sword is 1d10. But then I couldn't use a shield. So that's actually better. Yeah, and I put the, the shield away when I'm using the sword. Um, okay, and I don't have any other proficiencies. So what are her proficiencies? I'm not sure. Let's start with a, <laughs> a small sword. 1d6. That's not too bad. Long sword, quarter staff, spear, warhammer, halberd, mace. I feel like she's not a katana kind of girl. Okay, so that's probably fine then what we've done. We might have to fight this golem. I like how he's like, prisoners don't escape. And he's like, ah, they left the room, I lost them. Oh, there's a monster of some kind. Can't really see what I'm doing. The angles here are not good. Okay, what is she doing? Encumbered, cannot move. Oh! Oh yes. Maybe I'll lead this guy back to the golem and uh, the golem will take care of him. Sorry, I did not realize you were so encumbered. Um, wait, is she seriously encumbered? There you go. I guess my dwarf can carry way more poundage than she can. Get him, boys! Take that little bat to town. Yeah! Golem's like, I see nothing. I don't get paid enough to deal with this. Um, okay. Emo in detecting traps and illusions. Oh, that's good. Stay busy. Stay active. Okay, the question is, how do I use this key? Um, this is, now this is going to be a challenge. How do I get these guys to use a key? Uh, fist? No. Mm, special ability. Oh, quick item. Onward, then. Locked. Okay, hold on. We gotta put the key in the quick item. Which is... It's my quiver. Oh, quick items? Nope. Doesn't work. Shit, how do we... <laughs> I don't know how to unlock a door. I have the key. Um... What do you want? Gotcha. Yeah, you move here. Or, like, is this not the way to go, maybe? Not 100% sure. Um... Okay... Hmm... Um, how do we do this? I have the key. Typical cell key that might find any jail cells. This one may fit Jahira's cell. Oh! Okay, so it wasn't supposed to open that door. Okay. As you will. So we're not even supposed to leave yet. All right, well... That helps, at least. I like how that golem is just totally neutral. I'm starting to like that guy. All right. Let's see if there's another cell here. Oh, there's other people. Should I free them? Minsk will be free. These bonds will not hold my wrath. Butts will be liberally kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> Butts will liberally, liberally be kicked. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not really reading this. Uh, I will try and free you. Uh, the bars have not locked at all. They are smithed together. I'm proud they feared me enough to imprison me permanently. Uh, hero always succeeds. Um, okay. They bend and twist with my berserker strength. Oh, I think he just broke out. Together, we shall make our enemies answer for our fallen. Uh, 
Do I ask how you kept it hidden from your captors? Sometimes. Oh my god, then let us be and woe be for those who stand in our way. Quickly, we must get out of here before whoever did this returns. I swear, traveling with you is never dull. You have no idea. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Uh, <laughs> we won't be going. I rescued you, but I neither desire, need nor desire your company. All right. I want as big a party as possible with as many people involved. Your journal has been updated. Find a way to release Jared from her cell. I freed Jared from the cell with the key I found. Okay, nothing in there. It's down there. So just a bunch of dead bodies strewn about. Magical energy from distant explosions. Oh, hello. Whoa. Oh. Get them, boys! Show your worth, barbarians. Ow. We're just getting shocked by these. What are these? Lightning Mephit. Oh, they're just respawning, right? All right, we should get out of here. It's sort of like Diablo meets Fallout. But in real time, because Fallout was turn-based. All right, we seem to be in some sort of crystal cave. You escaped somewhat later than I'd hoped. I am Ataku. You have my welcome to my little piece of this place. I do so hope you keep it more appealing than the rest. Um, blah, blah, blah. Um, Self-reliance, I do not really expect you to sate my curiosity. Farewell. All right, so I don't know if that guy was good or bad, but he just punked out. Path down there. Wait, is there anything up here? Or no, like a dead end. Oh, uh, there's like stuff here. Get him, gang! I probably should give a weapon to my dudes. Also, there's like a path this way too. Okay, hold on here. Folks, a barbarian likes a long sword. And he can also use some studded armor. <coughs> that will help him. Next, she could use some armor. Cha chink And some kind of weapon. Wait, what is this? A bow staff? Quarter staff? 1d6. Okay. I'm gonna spread these items around a little bit so it's not all on my one guy. Nobody can use that. And nobody can use that. All right. Good enough. Okay, let's see what's down over here. So yeah, it kind of feels like Diablo with multiple characters and, uh, oh, ton of goblins. Go for the eyes. Yeah. Attack! I wonder if they will automatically heal and stuff. Not sure if my guys are smart enough for that. Oh, well, this guy is, uh, getting a little, uh, a little worn down there. Oh, okay, they're definitely using magic and stuff. I think my guys are pretty smart. What is happening? What is... Like, weird lightning. She's trapped. Look, my main guy's about to die. Hey, yeah, seriously. Traps. Fluid within this device churns and bubbles. My god, it's so loud. Stop with the super loud lightning, man. I'm trying to scroll away from it so it gets quieter. 
I'm about to die. Don't know if there's a way to heal. Kill that thing! Uh, lightning is the worst. Locked. It's a locked box. Jesus, did it stop? <laughs> Holy God. Cover your nose, boo. We will leave no crevice untouched. I don't know what that guy is talking about. Um, okay. Do I have like a mage book? Do I have any spells? Magic missile. Bless. It's blessed to. Caster raises the morale of friendly creatures. I don't care about that. Uh, do we have any healing potions or anything? What is this? May not rest at this time. Oh, there's our map. That's handy. Uh, Mazik's healed. Wait, you can- he just- I didn't even- okay. They just automatically do some of this stuff. As you will. So, my characters are actually pretty smart. I know I've been in this room here. We both have... We both have. Um, let's see. We'll get him back, Emu, and we'll make him pay for all of this. They used to be people. What is this? Um... Okay. Anyway, whatever. Oh. Another bat. Take him down, boys! Here comes the pain train. Another golem's just like, I don't get paid to deal with this. Ooh, critical hit. I think I was the one who did it. To the enemies. Yeah. Ooh, upgraded stuff. Alright, let's check our inventory here. So this is a long sword. Hmm. Medium shield. Looks cooler than the one I've got, so... Gonna... Give him that one, the weird one to the other guy. I guess this axe doesn't do anything necessarily? Battle axe? Like, it just looks cooler than mine, it's purple. Right, isn't that better? I don't know. It's purple. It's got to be better. Might as well get all these different swords and items ready. There we go. I don't know. It's got to be better. It's purple. A scimitar. Ooh, she can use a scimitar. Sure. Go nuts. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's got his purple axe on. Where's the scimitar girl? Uh, her. Alright. Something you need. Ooh, more stuff here. Oh, longbow. Okay, that's handy. More stuff here. It's a little difficult to see, like, what can be opened and whatnot. Are you supposed to talk to this guy? Is it you? You have given me no eyes and I cannot see you. Um, he says, I have cleaned the sewage chambers and fed your guardian. Do you wish me to open the doors to the pit and begin my duties again? I do wish it. You have not activated my movement functions. Use, let's use the activation stone. Um, Riley has the activation stone. It is in the table of his room. Table near uh, his life support jar. Um, Pierce the sewage goal and will open the doors in the dungeon if I can find an activation stone which is on a table. Okay, on a table. Like, there's a locked box there, but that's not a table. Yeah, I gotta go find a table. Let's see. I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction, frankly. There's another golem. There's several golems. 
Uh, stare straight ahead. Does not appear to see you. Specta Golem is inactive. Same thing. Okay. It's kind of weird to create a golem with no eyes. It's very creepy, actually. Oh. Run! Run, Mazix! Don't get killed. I really need to heal. Don't know if it's even possible. My blade will take you down the side. Man, these guys are just ex literally exploding. I suppose if we level up, we'll get more health, so I should just keep trying to slaughter guys. Probably is a good way to go. Anything in here? The hell is this? Oh, Riley. I'm dying or dead, I remember not which. Where's the master? Uh, difficult to remember. I was Riley dead, I think. He was like a brain in a jar, god. Who's the master? He was my friend, I think. Cast out. Um. Okay. Prisoners, be ye truly, I have been dead, but not dead too long. I seek release. I have been alone for too long. The master can take nothing more. I am forgotten. Uh, I was a faithful hound to the master. A friend, even. I was dying or dead. I can't remember which. Yikes, this is actually really creepy. Um, I must return to my task. You must escape. Release me. Oh, wait, maybe I can just release him. Servants of the master. Uh, let's see... Um, let's see. Can I be of assistance? Yes. Master, I, I no longer wish to come back. Oh, God. Cal calmly, my friend, how's I can help you? This until that contains my power cells, be crystals, take them, and I can sleep, die again. I know you are prisoners. Some things do not change. You must escape this place. The master's experiments. Oh, God. I want to end up as a brain in a jar. It's like uh, I have no mouth, but I'm a scream. That like creepy story slash game. Um, have peace at last. Go and leave me to he's he's dead now. Yikes! That a creature. Another corpse in my wake. Nothing odd about that. All right. Relief has been released from his overlong life. I took the crystal. I really want out of here. Okay. I think this might be the table they were talking about. Activation stone. All right, we got it. Let's pop in here. As, as a D and D player, I always would forget to like look for traps and stuff. So I like that my guys are just detecting traps and illusions periodically. Like you guys are good. It's like you've done this before. Um, let's see. Open the doors and perform your duties. Here's the stone. I bow before you, master. Um. Okay. He's just peacing out. We should follow this guy because I have no idea where he's actually going. Follow the golem. Oh, he's running. Keep an eye on him, man. There he goes. Okay, so we're going this way. No idea where he went. He's, lo he's long gone. He was huffing it. Okay, he went this way, I guess. Oh, what the hell is that thing? My blade will cut you, down. you know, golem, you could actually slaughter some monsters along the way. Just saying. Oh, that looks like the golem. With vengeance. He's just like opening random doors, eh? Oh, that's the door that we couldn't get through. Oh, she's healing him, I think. All right, golem. <laughs> Carry on, I guess. Do your thing. I want to finish exploring this little room here. Because I know he went out that way. I think I just got poisoned. 
What is this? Vocalize. Oh, potion of healing. Definitely need to use that. Potion of healing. How do I drink potion? Did my guy do it? I feel like he didn't. Something you need. I'm gonna die. I could use some help. Alright, those two potions basically did not offset the poison I suffered from opening that trap. Looks like oh, there's another one here. Let's get poisoned again. Locked. Thing in here. Okay, let's try. I'm pretty sure the golem went up this way. Might be pressing our luck to continue to dance around in here. Should just count our blessings and see if we can get the hell out of here. Oh, it's a library. Hello? Anybody? Any good books to recommend? Onward, then. <laughs> Gonna try and hang back a little bit. Oh, we can, like, check all these bookshelves. Slaughter that thing. I feel like the bats are harder to kill than the goblins. The uninjured goblins go down like nothing. Oh, there's a lot of them. And we are very weak. I think I might have leveled up or something, or got healed or armored. I really, really appreciate the auto-casting of my characters, the fact that they're semi-intelligent. It makes life a lot easier. Alright, anything cool in here? Oh my god, there's books. History of the North. Haven't read that one. You guys got any Harry Potters? History of the Red Ravens. A lot of history books. I guess we don't need all these books. They're probably not worth anything. Man, like every single bookshelf has something. Whoa, healing potions. Oh my god. I have to literally check every bookshelf. <laughs> it's actually kind of crazy. Oh my god, look at all these books. Books and books. Truly is a... A library. I guess we'll stop looking shortly, but... Crazy. You can sit here like all day reading these books. My god. Oh my god. Oh, potion. Healing potion. Uh... I guess my guy is at capacity. Whatever. Oh, this reminds me so much of Candlekeep. Dusty old tomes all over. Bookcases nearly spilling. It's like we never left. Good for you, lady. Uh, more goblins. I really just need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> I think I should have kept going that way. I don't know why I deviated. It's a gamer in me. I just sort of want to see what's around every corner, but... It's pretty dangerous when I have this little health left. I need to go somewhere where I can sleep and heal. I guess I'm also not looting bodies. I should be looting bodies. It's probably a critical mistake. I just realized I'm not looting anyone. Alright, um... If I drink a bunch of potions, that should help me, right? But these are my quick items. Keep going, buddy. Hammer him down. Okay, this is this is actually good. Keep going. Drink it up. I feel like I'm drinking booze. He's getting sloshed. To get nice and sauced. As you will. All right, we'll just keep going up this way. I feel like this game is not only very intuitive, but like, oh, you're right, and loot the bodies. It's like a very intuitive game, and oh my god, they all have stuff. 
Magic missile. Oh my god. Oh, they have gold. We haven't been looting any of the gold. Okay, I mean, we're not going to go back and loot all the bodies we missed. Let's just try and get out of here. We'll see a little bit more of this game, but I feel like for having not looked up any manuals or instructions, like the controls are very intuitive. Without ye bother on me. Oh. Ho, prisoners. You come to the wrong place, I tell you true. Um, all that stand in my way shall fall. Adam, lads, no mercy. All right, take him down, boys. Oh, this guy's about to die. Guys, fight. Oh, one of my guys died. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a lot of them. No, I'm not dying here. I'm not. Oh, my head hurts. Yeah, I'm running. I have to get to the surface. I have to go. I'm running. Uh-oh. Run! Run! It's locked. Oh god. There's quite a lot of them. Did we just fail? I'm dying. Oh, I'm turning the- oh my god. They're gonna put my head in a jar, man. I'm gonna be like that goldfish guy. I can't believe we actually died on the first level. I just- I, I guess I can assume the first dungeon. You would just make it out, you know? Like, I wanted to see the surface and stuff. That's, uh, the main characters has been killed. That's it. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess as far as we're getting in Shadows of Omni, uh, Baldur's Gate, one of the games in the book, a thousand video games just played before you die. I have to say, I think that, you know, again, I'm not a D&D guru or anything, but from our little experience there, I feel like this game definitely seemed to have a lot of the D&D rules that I remember as a kid. Um, so if you like the complexity of those rules, this seems to have it. It was very intuitive, easy to sort of play and figure out what was going on. The interface was like nice and clean, even for a game that's like quite old by today's standards. So I think if you like D&D and you've never played these games, definitely I could see this being worth a try. And definitely this is the kind of game I would have played back in the day. So yeah, Baldur's Gate 2 seems pretty cool. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, have you played this before? Do you have tips or tricks? Fond memories? Let me know in the comments down below what you think of Baldur's Gate 2 and my pathetic performance here today. Also, if you've played this, what should I have done? What, what did I do wrong in the dungeon? Did I just rush it or something like that? Um, I guess I just assumed, again, that we were more or less just going to get out. I thought this was kind of the first level. They're not going to throw anything too hard. They literally killed us, which I actually kind of respect. I respect a game that doesn't like screw around even on like normal difficulty or easy or whatever it was it was like no you you gotta try you can't just phone it in so i don't mind a game that has a challenge that did not feel, feel like an unfair challenge just felt like i didn't quite realize how much i had to try on that first level i just sort of thought it was gimme it's my own bad but uh yeah, back in the day, I definitely would have played this over and over and like figured out how to get out of there and tried to see more. I really loved Diablo back in the day, and this reminded me a bit of it, only more RPG-ish, but it was like real time, which was nice. So, yeah. Anyway, let me know what you think of Baldur's Gate down in the comments below and the D and D movie with Chris Pine. If you have seen it, I hope you have. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. It has been fun. Um, until next time, you'll take care of yourselves. <laughs> Excuse me, and we will see you soon. Peace.